Hello everyone and welcome to another video right here on the YouTube channel today. The AFL has released the squad for the under 22, best 22 squad of 44, I think it is, or thereabouts 40 or something, regardless, maybe 38, whatever, close enough to 40 or just over. And I've got some things to pick with this squad. This squad is absolutely questionable. Some glaring omissions some interesting squad selections, let alone people that think they can be contenders. I want to start right off the top. Is I'm going to give you the squad on the screen right now. But before we do that, please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I want to aim for 22 likes at least for this video. would greatly appreciate it. So let's go right through that list now. I should really change that banner um, to 2024. Okay, 2024. All right. So the squad the AFL has produced is this. Um, the defenders are Max Michelani, Darcy Wilmot, Josh Draper, Max Holmes, Bodie Euland, Mac Andrew, Josh Weddle, Judd McVie, Colby McKercher, Nasaya Wangani Malira and Brady Hoff. Now, let's just go through those defenders. I'll put the thing on the screen shortly, uh, but I don't want to show the rest of it before I continue. So, until I get to the last line, which will probably be the forwards. Now, the defenders. Um, now, we're talking pure squad here. How people pick this squad is beyond me. Some players in their first year, some that have been on list for a few years and only started to play, some that are around 22 or are 22. Um, of the defenders selected, Max Michelani had an interesting start of the season. Um, Darcy Wilmot, uh, he was better last year. Josh Draper, that is just a disgrace that he's even considered. A guy who, I mean, didn't do much wrong to get dropped recently because Alex Pearson Co. were playing. But to be in this squad is quite laugh off. Like four weeks of good form has now got you a spot. Uh, Max Holmes, whatever. Brody Euland, I know some people that have rated his season, but I don't know how he's in the squad. Uh, Mac Andrew, fair enough. There's not many tall defenders. Uh, Josh Weddle, fair enough. Chad V, fair enough. Colby McKercher, definitely fair enough. Wangani Malira, Nasaya Wangani Malira, fair enough indeed. And Brady Hoff, I agree with that. So let's now, actually, I'm not even going to reveal my team first. I'm going to go through the squad. So, um, you know, some players in there. You can question that are in there. Like I just mentioned, Josh Draper is the big one, and Bodie Euland, how they're in there, I would love to know why they were picked. Now, let's go through the Rucks. They're Luke Jackson and Sam Darcy. Like, I understand they have to pick Ruckman or close to being Ruckman that are under 20, 22 or under, so I get that. Um, but neither of these two deserve to be in the fucking team. None of them do. Um, apologies for that, but um, yeah, none of these two deserve to be in the team. It's quite simple and quite obvious that they don't. Sam Darcy's had some good moments this year. Luke Jackson, you know, when Sean Darcy wasn't there in the midpoint of the season, he was doing all right. But you can't get rewarded for four-week form to get a spot in this team. Well, you shouldn't. So, you know, both don't deserve it. But then again, who else is there? And Tim English is not eligible for this position anymore clearly um but yeah whatever so now i'm gonna leave the midfielders to last because it's always so debatable um i'm gonna go to the defend uh, forwards now we've just done the defender scoops the forwards are josh rochelle kai loman elijah hollands who you can select as a midfielder jay amos josh tracy uh connor mcdonald jack ginnivan jacob van royan or rue as the d's fans call him paul curtis logan mcdonald and Jamari Hugo Hagen. Now, uh, Josh Rochelle has had moments this year. He's been okay. Oh, I haven't got a big concern of him being in the squad, but I don't think he gets in the final team. Kai Lohman's had a good year, so fair enough. Elijah Hollins has been all over the place. I don't know why he's in here. Jai Amos, he's kicked some goals. He's not a high possession kid. He's a bit like Ben King with the low disposals for three or four goals a game sometimes. Uh, fair enough to be in the squad. Josh Tracy, well... I, I, I didn't know that, um, you know, six to eight games this year gets you a spot when you're 22 now, I think he is. Um, and 
some of this is based off, you know, um, your whole years. He's, he was a waffle player his entire career before this year, pretty much. He had kicked like 20 goals in 35, 40 games before this year. So how that constitutes a team of the under-22, best-22 team is quite laughable, to be honest. Um, who else have we got in here? We've got um, Connor McDonald, fair enough, had a bloody good year. So is Jack Ginevan. Van Royen, he's always an interesting one, Jake Van Royen. He's teased you a little bit this year. Had a few good games, but this year not so good. Uh, but in previous years, no, fair enough to be in the squad. Uh, Paul Curtis, I like this selection. He may feature again in my team. Maybe or maybe not. Um, I, I like this selection. He's popping up for a couple of goals a game, around 15 disposals this year in particular. Um, I thought he's had a really good year, and he was fine before this year. Um, so I don't mind that. Logan McDonald can't be off this year. Um, he's been so inconsistent. Lost his team the game twice against Saints and Freo. Um, he's had some good moments this year, sure. But how he got in, I don't know. Um, now, who else we got? And then Jamal Hagen. You know, fair enough. He's had a good year, especially in the last six to eight weeks. So, fair enough. All right, the midfielders, they have selected a fair few. Jake Saligo, Nick Dacos, Ollie Dempsey, who you can select as a forward. Tanner Bruin, Sam Closey, Finn Callahan, Massimo D'Ambrosio, Caleb Windsor, <laughs> Tom Powell, Harry Sheasel as a forward, George Wardlaw, Chase Burgoyne, Jason Horn Francis, Errol Gordon, Harley Reid, and Ruben Jinby. All right, now let's get this picture up of all that because now I've read all selections. All right, there you go on the screen. We'll have that up there for a minute. So, or pause it and screenshot if you like. Um, so, with the midfields, I think Jake Saligo, Nick Dacos absolutely deserve it. Uh, Ollie Dempsey deserves to be in the squad. Uh, Tanner Bruin should not be anywhere near this team. That's just quite laughable. Couldn't get a kick at the Giants and done stuff all this year. Sam Closey in here is just an absolute laugh at its finest. Started the year real well and has done nothing for 10 weeks. Finn Callahan absolutely deserves it. Dean Brosio, I don't know if he makes a final team or anything, but he's been really reasonable this year, particular since the halfway point of the season. Kayla Windsor deserves the squad, but shouldn't be in the final team. Tom Powell's had a good year, fair enough. Harry Sheasel obviously deserves it, who you can select as a four. George Wardlaw deserves a squad mention, at least. How Jace Bergwin's in this squad is... Almost one of the biggest jokes of this squad is um, having Jai, uh, no, having Jace Burgoyne and Josh Draper and um, Josh Tracy and Sam Closey in this squad is quite laughable. Uh, Ruben Jimby, I uh, don't believe he deserves it off this year. Harley Reid, well, he's always going to put in no matter what, um, even though he's been inconsistent at the start of the year. Had a good block and then been a bit quiet lately, um, but whatever. And Errol Gordon obviously deserves it. So now it is time for Scoops to – well, before we do that, where is Darcy Wilson? A bloody rising star contender, in my eyes, who should bloody win it, is not even in this squad. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, not only me, like, these experts, so-called experts, I'm an expert. A lot of the people online are not. Um, and they're, they're saying, you know, when Harley were going to spend, oh, Darcy Wilson could win the rising star. Like, logically speaking, right, you would think common sense prevails here, and it doesn't. You know, you're talking him up, going, yeah, he's a rising star chance. You're saying he's a chance, right? So he should be in this bloody team. Now, someone will probably counter-argue, oh, it's only Colby, McKercher, Sheasel, uh, Windsor that are first-year players in here. Like, they shouldn't – Colby should be there. But Caleb Windsor should not be in here over Darcy Wilson. He, fair enough, if they're both in there, I wouldn't bat an eyelid. But if we're going to be comparing players, Darcy Wilson's clearly had a better year than Caleb Windsor. And those names I listed before, Draper and Burgoyne and uh, Tracy and Closey, None of them should be in the squad. So easily he replaces one of them. And some of those are positioned in the midfield, Burgoyne and Closey. So get rid of them, have Darcy Wilson in, and in the bloody final team. Absolutely bullshit that Darcy Wilson is not even in this squad. He's been absolutely robbed right in front of me.
bullshit. Absolutely criminal that Darcy Wilson didn't even make this bloody squad. But I want to stress enough, Darcy Wilson would be in my team if he was able to be selected. But because it's rigged, here is my team. <clears throat> From the back lot. Now, by the way, there's only four interchange players. I would love to have done five, but the thing only allows you to choose four. So no sub or no fifth player. So from the back line, the pockets, Bobby McCurcher and Judd McVee. Full back, Mac Andrew. The flankers, the halfback flank line, Nasaya Wanganin Malira and Max Holmes. And a half back, Josh, 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 Weddle. The wingers. Well, oh, there's a midfield group of five. Yeah, so the Rovers and Centerman. Oh, sorry, the wingers, Finn Callahan and Errol Goulden. The Centerman, Nick Dacos. The Rovers, Harry Sheasel. And Harley Reid. Ruckman, Luke Jackson. The forward line, the half forward line, the flank is Jack, 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 Jack Ginnivan. And Ollie Dempsey. Center half forward, Jamara Eugle Hagen. Forward pockets, Kai Lohman and Connor McDonald. Full forward, Jai Amos. Interchange. Jake Saligo, George Wardlaw, Paul Curtis, and Brady Hoff. Now, you'll want reasons. And, well, let me talk to you. This is my Scoops 2024 AFL Under-22 Best 22 final team from the players that could be selected. Otherwise, I would have Darcy Wilson in this team. I'd have him in over. And remember... You can only pick players in certain positions. So, for example, Sheasel couldn't be selected as a halfback. So, you know, that would change a lot of things. So, you know, from who we could select. So, the reasoning is a little bit different to how I would do for an Australian team or a team of the week. Um, you know, I thought this back line was actually really easy to choose. I thought Mac Andrew and Weddle from the players chosen were clearly the best two key position players to choose from. But that's not saying much because there wasn't many options. Colby McCurchar and and the Cyway and Malira and Max Jones were obvious choices. And Jamie McVie um, has been pretty reliable down back for Melbourne. Finn Callahan, uh, that whole mid, I'm not even explaining it. They're all, all Jets. Um, you know, Luke Jackson, as I said earlier, Sam Darcy, he, and I just choose Luke Jackson for forward, because uh, he can play at forward too. Uh, Ginevan and Dempsey, um, Shelley was considered for Kai Lohman, who's only been good this year, but I went. Him, because his season this year has been bloody impressive. Connor McDonald's had a great season. And the two key fours, Jai Amos and Jamara, I went ahead of Josh Tracy and Jacob Van Royen. The interchange, I didn't go with another tall forward, as Luke Jackson can be that guy that can pinch it there. And Mac Andrew could be the backup ruckman in this team. Um, and Weddle's done it as well. Not that I necessarily would have him there, but he can. But Brady Hoff is that extra defender when Mac Andrew pinch hits in the ruck. Pinch hits in the ruck. Uh, Jake Saligo and George Wall are the next mids, and Paul Curtis the next small forward when someone like a, you know, Connor McDonald rotates onto the bench or Lohman, etc. So, you know, I I did not pick Joshua Shelley, Elijah Hollins, Josh Tracy, Logan McDonald in that four line. Just wasn't happening. The midfield, I did not select Tanner Bruin, Sam Closey, Massimo Dean Brozo, Caleb Windsor, Tom Powell. Tom Powell was a consideration. Juan Francis and Bergwijn, don't get me started. Uh, Gordon was there. Reed was there. Jimby, not really considered, to be honest. Sam Darcy wasn't considered at all. Uh, Max Michelani, I thought of him. I don't mind him as a footballer. I think he would be a good selection, um, but I just didn't fit him in. And uh, the rest of the names there didn't deserve a spot. So... Thank you all for watching this video. Let me know your 2024 under 22 best 22 selections based off who you could actually select and in 
certain positions. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe for more content and smash the like button. We want to aim for 22 likes at least for this video. Thank you all. And go, you mighty Sainers. And, of course, where is Filippo? All aboard the Filippo train. Then, now, forever together.